Hey everybody, Chris here with Tiny Home Tours. Just letting all of you know that the Tiny Living course is on pre-sale for another week and a half. We're at 30% off right now, and when it officially launches December 4th, there will be no more discounts. So be sure to check the link down below and enjoy today's video. How's it going, guys? My name is JP, this is my pup, Chance, um, and this is our 1995 Dodge Ram Sportsmobile conversion van that we've been living in for just over a year now. And uh, come on in and check it out. So we're here on the side of the van. Um, we got these two double doors that open up. It's great on hot days to just kind of get a nice breeze going all the way through the van. Another great thing about these doors is they both have these little cubbies in the sides here. Um, and this one specifically has this fold down table, which is great for like cooking outside or like if I want to sit and have my desk out here, I can pull up a chair and have my laptop and work outside in the environment that I'm in. Um, yeah, and it's just a great little feature that they added into the side of the door here. A big factor of me living on the road is definitely my dog Chance. Um, he's my best friend and he goes everywhere with me. And so he's got his little spot here where he likes he gets to eat and drink. He's got his little no spill water bowl here, which is great for being on the road for any dog owners. You know that dogs don't like to knock their food and their water bowls over, but that definitely limits the water spillage in the van. So the counter in my van comes all the way about maybe a third of the way across the two doors, but it's really great because it's got this little extension that just folds up right here and then like that. And my passenger suite is on a swivel so I can actually turn that around 180 and use this as my desk so I can work right here, have my stuff plugged in and just have the doors open and be enjoying the environment and the scene that I'm in while working from my laptop. So I was born and raised in Southern California and um, I spent the last six years living in Long Beach um, where I went to school and I finished my degree in business marketing with a minor in film. And I've been working freelance since I was about 16 years old with my camera, doing photo gigs here and there and kind of figuring it out. And I decided um, once I graduated that I wanted to live on the road and just do that full time and kind of commit myself to traveling and freelance work. And so we left uh, two months after I graduated from college, which was just over a year ago. Because it's a van conversion, um, the cab is a part of the whole home. Uh, so I do have a curtain that I can separate, but I also have the covers that go up on these windows, which kind of leaves it more open so that I can have this space and still be blocked off from the outside world. Um, Chance obviously has his seat, which is my swivel seat as well, so I can rotate that and he'll still sleep on there sometimes. One thing that really drew me to this van is actually the dash. This like fake plastic wood look, um, I think was just a really nice touch for such an old van because it is a 95. Um, another thing that's fun and interesting is the fact that I don't have a CD or Bluetooth or auxiliary cord. I just have a simple cassette player. Um, so I bought this little Bluetooth to radio uh, adapter so I can still play my music on, this, on the radio when I'm driving. Along with patches and stickers, I like to collect little trinkets along the way. Um, some are given to me as gifts and some I pick up myself. Um, and they find their home right here up on the dash. And I think it just gives the van a little more character from looking outside in. So one thing that's unique about this van, because it is older, it's a 95, um, it is a short nose, and the engine is actually right here in the cab under the doghouse is what this is called. So it, whenever I need to do any repairs, I gotta remove all this stuff and take this big old box right off the engine block and I can work on it from inside the cab. So a lot of people on the road collect stickers or mugs or shot glasses. Um, my personal thing that I decided when I first left on my travels was to collect patches from everywhere that we visited. Um, I think they're great because I can keep them up here or I can take them off and I can put them on a backpack or a jacket or a vest. And then once we decide to settle down eventually, if we do, um, I'm going to put them all on one big frame and have all the patches there. And that way they last forever. So looking from the outside in, a lot of people assume that the over cab space is where the bed goes, but it's actually just gonna be storage because it's too narrow to lay down all the way across. So up here I have pretty much, it's my catch all for all my gear. I have Chance's dog food, my laundry basket, my portable charger, all my uh, tools and drills go right here. And then in the back, we have most of our emergency gear as well as our camping gear. So we got our toe straps, our jumper cables, our tents, our camping chairs, all that kind of stuff just all sits up here and it's all kind of in its own way, organized but disorganized, but it all fits and it's all there. One cool feature that they built into this van was this little vanity here. 
Um, you got your little vanity lights with your mirror there. And then inside is all my toiletries. So I have all my shampoos, conditioners, um, all that kind of stuff just lives in here. And it's great to just have a separate space for that so it's not rolling around in other drawers. This extra space is just kind of whatever, just kind of throw stuff there. It's kind of like a junk area. But we got Chance's little goggles here, a beanie and some face wipes. Um, and then over here, we have this painting that my little sister did actually, which is really special because um, we didn't know she was artistically inclined until she was 20 years old. And she painted this for me. Um, it's a little Stitch and uh, Baby Yoda. Um, so that hangs there. So this space was actually designated for a microwave when I originally bought the van. Um, I decided to take it out because it only ran when I was either plugged into shore power or running a generator. Um, so I decided to get rid of it. I replaced it now with uh, my basket here of just dry snacks and dry foods. And then I have my single burner camping stove right here as well. So I can just grab that and take it outside to go cook. Over here behind the driver's seat, I just kind of use this space to store my folding table. Because I do like to host friends camping as well as cook outside a lot, um, having a folding table has just been really clutch and like helpful to have. Um, down here below my food area, we have Chance's extra storage. Um, he's got way too many toys that he doesn't play with because he'd rather chase a stick or a rock than any of the toys that I spend money on. But those live here as well as extra leashes, um, his little sweaters because he does get cold in the winter time, and then his uh, treats and medicine. This vent here is just for the, uh, the house air and heating, um, which is controlled in the back from the bed. Again, it only runs when I'm plugged in, so I hardly ever use it, but it's nice to have um, when I am parked places that I can plug in my shore power. Um, and then right here is uh, my 12 disc CD mixer. Um, talk about classic. This 95 van came with an addition of the cassette player. They added the CD player and it holds up to 12 discs. So when I'm off grid and I don't have service to play music, I can listen to that. Um, another thing about why I chose van life is because I grew up um, and my family didn't love camping. Um, my dad didn't like sleeping on an RV bed or on the, he would never sleep on the floor. And my mom liked having, you know, a nice warm shower in the morning and not having to deal with the dirt and the dust. And so I was always the one who, when we went camping, would sleep in a tent, even if they were in the RV. And I just kind of fell in love with the serenity of nature and the calmness of the quiet outdoors at night. And uh, I think that's definitely one of the factors that played into why I live in a van now. So right here, we have another little piece that my, uh, my little sister did. It's just a little painting, a silhouette of Chance, which is really special because they've had a great connection and a special bond ever since I first rescued Chance. Um, and then inside this cabinet here, we have um, our board game. So we got Catan, a poker set, chess and backgammon, all that kind of stuff with uh, some cards and dice just to kind of play games and host when you're sitting around a campfire, hanging out with your friends. Um, and then one thing about having a dog is he likes to go swimming sometimes. And so we need to have a lot of extra towels to dry him off before he decides to jump on my bed all covered in mud. Um, so that's where those live. So these four vents here are actually um, an AC unit that can run off of the house batteries, but using the front AC compressors. So if I have to run in to get groceries or I go to the gym to take a shower, um, I can let Chance stay in the van and keep the AC running and it keeps it nice and comfortable for him on warm days. Uh, one thing about living in a van is you really have to condense your closet. So these two cabinets here are part of my clothes. Um, we have pants and sweats, you know, the boxers and socks and then t-shirts go right here. I got these little pull-out drawers from uh, Home Goods, um, and they're great to just be able to kind of access everything, um, but still have this cupboard space kind of nice and neat and closed. So we got our little Surfer Girl poster here. I picked that up for free uh, at a garage sale um, before I left Long Beach. Um, and inside here is my hanging closet, which is one of my favorite features because I do photography and I shoot weddings often and I have to dress nice when I'm shooting a wedding. So I have my jackets in here, my suit, my uh, tux, and then nice little button up shirts and all that kind of stuff can hang in here, stay nice and uh, unwrinkled and uh, be on a hanger. So that's where those go. 
So uh, this tall skinny cabinet right here is actually my pantry. So this little latch and it slides all the way out. Gives me all this storage space for canned goods. Um, I like a lot of noodles. I love cooking Asian cuisine. So I have a lot of noodles and spices and that kind of stuff. Um, and that is like a really great feature to have this extra pantry space instead of just having a couple little drawers. Um, all this space gives me plenty of storage for all the food that I need. Now we're in the kitchen space here and right above the sink and stove, we have these two upper cabinets. Uh, this is where I keep all my cups, plates, bowls, uh, my French press, all that kind of stuff. Um, I like to keep sets of four of everything just in case my friends want to come camping with me. I have enough to host and like serve a meal to the friends that come to visit. We have a sink here. Um, it's just, it's pretty small, but it does the job. It runs off of a 12 volt pump. The little switch for that is over here to turn that on. And then you just turn on the water and let it flow. And there you go running water. So the two burner stove is right here. Um, it has this cover so I can use it as extra counter space when I'm not using the stove. But when I am cooking, it opens up like this. And then it's got this nice little smoke slash splash guard up here. So whatever oil or smoke comes off, it doesn't collect. So under the sink here, we have extra storage. Uh, this first one here is mainly just like my stainless steel bowls and some cleaning supplies uh, to keep the van nice and fresh. And then over here, we have um, cutting boards and the water heater, which actually runs off the propane, which I've never used, but it's there. This drawer here used to be a flimsy plastic little drawer that would go underneath the stove, but because the stove sticks down about two inches, it only held cutting boards. I couldn't put anything else, anything thick under there. Things often got lost in the back. So I decided to take out the cheap plastic one and replace it with this nice wooden cutting board, um, which I can also use as a table. I can sit here and eat, or I can use it to chop my vegetables before I put them on the stove. So this top drawer here at the end of the counter is where my utensils are. Um, I have all my stuff from chopsticks, soup spoons, forks, knives, and then I have my two cooking knives that I really enjoy to use, these two big guys right here, um, as well as measuring cups and any kind of little kitchen knickknacks that you might use. This, this second drawer here is uh, like tin foil and Ziploc bags and then a couple of little extra lights in case of emergencies. This bottom cupboard here is where my toilet lives. Um, I don't often use it. It's just a simple bucket toilet, but it is nice to have just in case of emergencies. Um, we haven't used it that many times, but it's nice to have on board just in case. Because national parks are so strict with dogs, we spend most of our time outside the national parks in the national forests where we can camp for free, first of all, and also Chance can be a lot more open to what he's allowed to do. We can take him in the lakes, we can take him paddle boarding, he can go on all the hikes with me. And um, it's definitely a lot more enjoyable when I get to take him with me rather than leaving him in the van and having the AC running and just kind of not including him in the adventures. So a lot of people ask because I'm traveling alone if I get lonely on the road and I definitely don't uh, most of the time. Um, there's definitely moments where I think like, oh, it would be nice to share this moment with someone. But for me, um, I think seeing the beauty of the country is definitely like something that I enjoy for myself. Um, as well as being able to share it with my dog and as well as friends along the road. I think the big thing with Chance is that most dogs don't get to do this kind of stuff. Most dogs stay in their one little town in their backyard and don't get to adventure and hike and jump in lakes and all that kind of stuff. And I think this is the best possible life for him, especially given his past. And people always ask, is it hard to have such a big dog in a small space? But really, we're not in the small space very often. We're typically out in the woods and he's running around off leash. We're hiking up to lakes or mountains and he gets to do whatever he wants and be free more so than any dog could ever spend in a bag. This is one of the only features that was added after the original build. Um, it's a Dickinson's uh, Newport propane heater. It's a marine grade heater that is often used on boats, um, but it's great. It's tapped into the propane line that was already on the van and it's got this chimney that goes right out the top so it vents air in and out so you're not releasing any carbon into the van and you're not using up any of the oxygen in the van. Um, and it's great for cold nights just to light this up and it keeps the van nice and toasty. 
Uh, so the first thing you see right above this shelf here is this great window. It definitely lets a lot of light in. Also, if I open it up, it's got that screen. So a lot of the heat will exit the van there, get a nice breeze coming through. Um, and then right here, we have my spice rack. I absolutely love to cook. Back when I was living in a house in Long Beach, I was cooking almost every day. Um, and I still try and do the same in the van. And just because you live in a small space doesn't mean you need to sacrifice flavor. So having these spices definitely brings a lot more pop to my food. I have all different cultures and different styles of spices and I like to cook all different styles of food. Um, so also along this shelf I have um, my uh, hot sauces and my oils, um, some chili crunchy uh, garlic there as well as my fire extinguisher just in case we need to uh, put out a kitchen fire. So right above me here we have our vent fan which is just your regular vent fan. Um, I have this nice cover that my friend gifted me. It definitely helps keep the uh, cold air out and the warm in on cold nights. Um, it's just, you know, three different settings and then in or out and you can close the little hatch right here. At the back of the van here, we have the, the bed space. Uh, it's just the two benches for the dinette that fold down to create this nice long bed. Um, it's got plenty of space. People often ask if I have to sleep sideways or at an angle. Um, no, it's actually all the way across. It's 6'1 with these little toe kicks under the windows so I can lay completely flat and sleep comfortably even with Chance up on the bed with me. Um, another great feature about this back space is the windows. Uh, we have windows on either side and they open up and they have these screens here. So on like hot summer nights, I can open those up and get a nice breeze going right over me um, as we sleep back here. now this turns from the bed space into the uh, couch space or the dinette area. Um, I typically don't use the table in here because it is still kind of compact so I'd rather eat outside anyways. But it's nice if it's cold out and I want to have some friends in we could play a board game or sit in here and chill. Chance likes it when it's in the benches because he gets to lay down and have his own space as well. Um, but yeah so under these two benches there's a lot of extra storage space um, on this side. I have my 16 gallons of fresh water as well as all the electrical and plumbing systems. And then over here we have just a nice empty bench with extra storage. I keep my longboard, my fishing pole, extra tools um, and all that kind of stuff down under here. Another nice thing about this area is on these walls here, there's these little, uh, I think they're actually marine like boat cup holders because they nice and collapse away and then you fold them out and put your drink on there. So whether we're sitting here or if I'm in bed and I want to have, you know, a can or a cup of water, I can put it right there on that. So over here on this wall, we have um, our AC and our heat system right here. So our little thermostat, when we're plugged into shore power, we can use that as well as our generator start and stop right here. Um, and then I have this little book light, which is really nice for reading at night when I'm laying down in bed. So right here we have our Dometic three-way fridge. Um, I can either run it on 12 volt, 120 or on propane. Um, I love this thing because it's actually plenty of space. It's more than enough for myself and Chance. Um, it also has this little freezer compartment up here, which is really nice. Uh, right now it's just fully stocked with uh, uh, drinks. I don't really have many groceries at the moment, but we're going to do a grocery run soon. Right below the fridge here, we have this extra little drawer, which I use for my pots and pans. Um, I have three of each, three pots, three pans. I have the three cast iron pans, uh, small, medium, large, and then my three pots, small, medium, large, and that's more than enough. Um, I can cook uh, multiple full meals with those without having to use anything else. Um, so now above the bed slash seating area, I have these extra three little cabinets and cupboards here. Um, this one is just kind of my extra stuff that doesn't fit in the closet. So I have my big uh, poncho as well as my overalls, um, denim jacket, just the kind of stuff that's a little too bulky to shove into the closet. And then back here, I have my gym bag, um, just kind of grab and go. So if I'm going to the gym, I can go work out and shower. I just kind of grab that, run it in with me and make that nice and easy. Um, and then over here we have all my um, work gear. So my camera gear, my headphones, all that kind of stuff lives up there. Um, it's nice to have it nearby and that way I don't have to bury it in the big storage in the front. It just has its own little place. 
So at the back of the van here, again, great double doors to just open the whole thing up, give us all this open air to come through. Um, these both also have the nice little storage areas. So I have my extension cords to plug in my shore power and then just extra storage on this side over here. So on the back here, we have um, our built on ladder as well as our fire extinguisher. I don't use the ladder much because I don't feel the need to go up onto the roof. It's fiberglass and I don't really trust it that much. And then the uh, fire extinguisher is nice to have on the outside as well as the inside because if we're having a bonfire and something goes wrong, you don't wanna have to run all the way inside to get your fire extinguisher. So having one easy access on the outside is great. Over here, uh, my buddy got me this when I first bought the van. Um, we used to go off-roading a lot. And so this was his little gift to me um, to start my trip. And uh, it's a, called a trasheroo, and it's great to just kind of keep your trash on the outside of the van so it doesn't build up and stink in the van. It hangs right on your spare tire, and uh, it's just a great little feature to have um, the extra storage space for your trash. Inside of our van here, we have this beautiful uh, old school Fiamma awning right here. Um, to take it down, it's super easy. You just got to remove these two little safety pins, which are great for the road. These things are great because even with just one person, you can do it. It has a spring system, so it holds itself up and you just bring these arms out and you're good to go. So we got the awning set up. It's just really nice, especially when we're out in the desert and there's not a lot of trees to provide shade. Just gives you a nice shaded cool area. It keeps the van a little cooler as well, um, but gives you a nice little space outside the van to just kind of hang out and chill like a front porch. So a typical day for us on the road is usually wake up, uh, go on a hike. We like to hike early in the mornings um, just to beat the crowds as well as beat the heat. Um, it's a lot better for the dog to hike when it's cooler so he doesn't overheat. And then we'll come back, usually relax for a little bit, make lunch, and then we'll get to work on our computer, either editing photos, setting up shoots, sending emails, all that kind of stuff. And then uh, I usually like to spend a good amount of time cooking dinner because I do enjoy cooking so much. It's kind of like my cool off time for the day is just kind of cooking and enjoying the meal um, before headed to bed. Because my van does not have a shower, um, I will have a couple options. I can go to Planet Fitness and work out and shower there, or I can set up uh, my solar shower, which is just a nice big black bag that I can fill from the sink and hang it on the roof and the sun will warm it up and then I can shower from that. Or I can simply take the sink faucet and attach a little hose, turn it out the window and then shower right outside the van. Um, so it's nice to have those options, but more or less the gym is the easiest option. But when I'm off grid, I like to use the sink. I think one other struggle that the van life kind of entails is really condensing your lifestyle. Uh, back when I was living in a house, I had two roommates. We lived in a three bedroom house with a backyard and a giant couch and living room and a full kitchen. And I loved cooking in that kitchen. I loved having the oven and the stove to use. And I think learning how to cook in the van has been uh, not just a challenge, but it's been kind of a cool learning process to create new ways of cooking similar dishes that I used to eat and finding new processes in which to do them. And also I think condensing your lifestyle as such of like clothing and belongings and material things, because when we have the space, we just kind of fill it. So if you have a big house, you fill it with stuff. But when you have a small space, you don't have space to fill. And so you don't need those things. You can't hold those things. So I think condensing not just your clothes and your uh, material things, but just your entire life and kind of realizing that you can live with so little and making that like a lifestyle and becoming okay with it has really been um, a cool growing process for me on the road. Well guys, thank you for checking out my van. Um, if you wanna follow along on our journey, you can hit us on Instagram at when to next. Um, not about the place, but the place and time. And then Chance of course has his own Instagram and it's Chance Unleashed. So we'll see you out there on the road.